Hey guys, Vegathron here. In this series, we'll be going through each and every charm in Hollow Knight. But this won't just be your normal charm guide, we'll be going deeper than ever before, by the numbers to uncover absolutely everything we can about each charm. Can Grubberfly's Allergy hit the same target with both the nail and the projectile? Is Steady Body Trash or God Tier? Exactly how much attack speed does Quick Slash give? We'll answer all of these questions and more in what aims to be the most in-depth charm guide you've ever seen. And you can expect the same thing when Silk Song comes out. Now, let's jump in to Episode 9. Rubberfly's Elegy This charm costs 3 notches, and when at full health causes projectiles to shoot from your nail when striking. This charm is acquired from Grubfather in Forgotten Crossroads after finding all 46 grubs. Grubberfly's Elegy shoots projectiles whenever swinging the nail, which deals 50% nail damage, as long as the user is at full health. The projectile will always deal half the damage of your nail. This means anything that buffs nail damage, such as Nailsmith upgrades, Fragile Strength or Fury of the Fallen, will also increase the damage of the projectile. This charm is fun to play around with and increases your range by roughly 144%. However, its usefulness is hindered since taking any damage deactivates its effects. This relegates it to much more niche uses. Charms where taking damage will result in failure, such as the Delicate Flower Quest or Radiant Difficulty boss fights in God Home to name a few, are where this charm is best suited. However, if the player is willing to play cautiously, it can be effectively used in many other situations as well. Quick Slash is one of the better combinations to use in a build with it, due to the increased attack speed. Heavy Blow is also useful for keeping enemies away, with its extra knockback on each projectile. Finally, any charms that give Lifeblood Masks over normal masks, such as Lifeblood Core or Lifeblood Heart, can create a damage buffer and delay losing the charm's effects. It's worth noting, however, the buff is lost after a single hit if using Joni's Blessing to convert all masks into Lifeblood. You would then have to sit at a bench to get it back. Although extremely difficult, it is possible to hit a single enemy with both the base nail strike as well as the projectile, effectively dealing 150% damage with a single input. For this to work, the enemy either needs to have a large enough hitbox that the projectile still contacts them towards the end of its flight, or be able to be knocked back significantly so they follow the projectile and stay in its hitbox. Having both Mark of Pride and Long Nail makes it a bit easier to find that sweet spot, which seems to be near the end but not quite the tip of the nail's range. Additionally, Heavy Blow can help knock lighter enemies back enough to get this trick to work. Even when doing all of this, it still seems somewhat random if a double hit will occur or not. Some hits that look like they'll surely double hit often don't, and other hits that look completely off sometimes do, so it's a bit of a mystery. Last of all, Mark of Pride and Long Nail do not affect the range of the projectiles. Grubberfly's Allergy Special Interactions Combining Grub Song and Grubberfly's Allergy will give an additional 10 soul each time you are hit for a total of 25 soul. Combining Grubberfly's Allergy and Mark of Pride increases the height of each projectile by 35%. Combining Grubberfly's Allergy and Fury of the Fallen causes the charm to activate when the player has one mask of health remaining. Not only that, but the projectiles will also become red and deal 67.5% nail damage instead of 50%. That's all for this episode. If you learned something, help me out by subbing and dropping a like. And I hope to see you in the next episode, featuring Fragile Heart.